2020 Allen County 4-H Style Review. I'd like to thank Dave Lawrence providing our sound and music and Heavenly Stitches for providing the special interest royalty with our sashes. We would also like to thank TV44 for broadcasting this. We have some royalty with us tonight. First is Cadence Richard, who is the special interest princess. Cadence Richard is the daughter of Nathan and Amanda Richard. She's going to be a junior in high school and is homeschooled. In her free time, she enjoys reading, exploring outside, and spending time with friends. The special interest queen this year is Cassie Billings. She is the daughter of Jeff and Lori Billings. She recently graduated high school and plans to attend Rhodes State College in the fall for nursing. In her free time, Cassie enjoys decorating cakes, playing piano, and spending time with friends. We also have the junior fair queen Sierra Ackerman, the Junior Fair King, Evan Kaur, and the Junior Fair Princess, Michaela Kozart. All right, our first class is loungewear. Brooklyn Bible. Brooklyn chose, is 12 years old, um, is a part of the Bluffton Boys and Girls Club, and goes to Bluffton Middle School. Her project is loungewear. Brooklyn chose Simplicity 8488 pattern to construct her nightgown and robe. Using a soft cat pattern flannel, the robe has a shaped gathered front V neckline, long sleeves gathered with elastic to form a self ruffle, and a tie hook and eye closure. The pullover nightgown is made of a super soft sparkly flannel. It has short puff sleeves with contrasting braided trim and a hook and eye back closure. She chose to accent the outfit with an old fashioned cap and tote with a cat trim from her gown. The total cost of her outfit was $11.73. Brooklyn Bible. Next we have Ella Miller. Uh, Ella Miller is 13 years old and has been a member of Herod Lively 4-H Club for five, five years. Ella is all comfort and relaxation, so she chose a lounge shirt and pants as her loungewear project. She chose a gray stretch knit with black and gold stars as her fabric. The fabric is 82% rayon and 18% cotton and is very comfortable and cozy. This was Ella's first time working with stretchy knit fabric and has found that she has needed to use stretch stitch for the seams. She used McCall's pattern and approximate cost of her fabric was $44. Ella Miller. In second place, for loungewear is Brooklyn Bible from the Bluffton Boys and Girls. In first place is Ella Miller from Herod Lively. I picked this pattern because it's my, like, I like gold and black. That's like my theme, like, of my room and everything. And I like being comfy in it. And like, I like wearing comfy clothes all the time. I like how comfy it is. <laughs> Next is Victoria Dawes. Victoria is 16, is a part of Perry Blue Ribbon, and is taking the project Look Great for Less. Victoria Dawes is 16 years old and has been in 4-H for eight years. She is currently a member of Perry Blue Ribbon 4-H Club. She has chosen a two-piece outfit for her project. She has purchased a short sleeve shirt embellished with pearls. The pants she chose are a pair of black skinny jeans. She is wearing a pair of black high tops, a light mauve backpack, and silver earrings, and a bracelet to accent her outfit. Victoria enjoys reading, trivia, and spending time with her family. Victoria Dawes. And 
for Look Good for Less, in first place we have Victoria Dawes from Perry Blue Ribbon. It's a thrift store project, which is why I did it, because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on an outfit that I was probably only going to wear a couple times. But I knew that I wanted these high tops, because I love high tops, and so I had to like find an outfit that um, matched the ones that I bought. So I bought the skinny jeans, and then um, I bought the shirt. And my favorite part about it is the pearls, because they add accents. Next up, we have Samantha McDaniel from the Goma Gill Getters. Samantha McDaniel is 13 years old, and this is her second year taking quilting, the best better. She decided to do a lemon star pattern using bright color and coordination plaid fabric. Each knot in her quilt is a prayer for the future owner of the quilt. Her favorite feature in this quilt are the bright colors. She learned it can be frustrating getting all of the points match up perfectly. She also learned to use wider binding for easing, easy sewing. She has not decided if she wants to keep the quilt for herself or give it away. Samantha McDaniel. Next is Abigail Lewis, age eight from the Gomer Go-Getters. Her project is You Can Quilt. Abigail chose to make a split rail quilt for this project. She is actually, this is actually the second quilt Abigail has completed. She chose her fabrics keeping light, medium, and dark tones in mind to match her border fabric. Abigail did all of the cutting, piecing, and quilting on her own. She completed her quilting on a Barina sewing machine using the Barina stitch regulator. Abigail hopes to make many more quilts. Abigail Lewis. In first place is Samantha McDaniel from Gomer Go-Getters. And you can quilt outstanding is Cheyenne Pack, Gomer Go-Getters. Second place is Abigail Lewis, Gomer Go-Getters. And first place, Sophia Brochure, Gomer Go-Getters. I sewed all the squares together and then I sewed, like, I sewed them all together and then I did the edges of it and then I, I put cotton in the middle and then the back, did the backing. My aunt did. She helped show me what to do because it's my first time. Next up we have Brooklyn Bible from the Bluffton Boys and Girls. Brooklyn has Construct, chosen to construct a loose fitting pullover top with long sleeves and drop shoulders for the ready, set, sew active. The top has a front pocket, a moderate stretch knit fleece, and Butterick 699 was used for her project. Finishing off Brooklyn's outfit today, a white t-shirt has a softball ironed on it in silver glitter. Topping off a pair of gray leggings, hair scrunchie, and pair of shiny, shiny silver sneakers. She plans to wear her outfit to school and softball practice. Total cost of her outfit was $14.07. Next we have Kyla Fallis of the High Achievers. Kyla Fallis is 13 years old and a member of the High Achievers 4-H Club. She enjoys cross country, so she decided to a four-piece outfit with a sweatshirt, sweatpants, tank top, and shorts. Her favorite pair of the outfit is how she decided to use the alternating materials on the sweatshirt. She plans to wear her outfit during co cross country practices and meets. Kyla Fallis. For the Ready, Set, So Active, in first place, we have Kyla Fallis from High Achievers. Next up, we have Madison Miller. She is 11 years old, and she has been in 4-H for three years. She is a, currently a member of Herod Lively 4-H Club. For sundresses and jumpers, she has decided to make a fitted jumper made out of Italian red, white, and blue plaid wool been since she is promoting the sheep and wool industry as she shows lambs as a 4-H project. Madison's jumper features black 
pleather tabs at the waist in a visible zipper and top stitching around the neck and armholes. Madison used a simplicity pattern for her jumper. The approximate cost of her outfit was $75. Madison Miller. Next is Ashley Hawk of the Clover Patch Crew. My name is Ashley Hawk and I am 13 years old. I am a part of the Clover Patch Crew. The fabric in my outfit is a polyester blend. My outfit is a jumper and has pockets as a fun feature. The approximate cost of my outfit is $50. My favorite feature is the crisscross in the back. Some things I learned working on this project is to walk away when you get frustrated and come back to it later. I am planning to wear my outfit to church and school. Ashley Hawk. Next we have Amber Boop, 16 years old, part of the Beaver Dam Bunch. Her dress is from cotton and special feature of her dress is a decorative zipper in the back. The dress costs $130. Her favorite features are the decorative zipper and the black flounce around the skirt. During this project, she learned to understitch. She plans to wear her dress to school, around town, and around Halloween town time. For the sundresses and jumpers category, outstanding project goes to Addison, Madison Miller from Herod Lively. Second place is Amber Boop from the Beaver Dam Bunch. First place is Ashley Hawk from the Clover Patch Crew. It's a jumper and it um, has two buttons in the back and it's open in the back. Um, and it has good pockets, my favorite part about it. I really like these colors, like in general, like oh, these are what my clothing that I have at home is usually, and then I just found like a pattern that go that went with my plain pattern. Next is Samantha McDaniel of the Gomer Go-Getters. Samantha McDaniel is 13 years old and a member of the Gomer Go-Getters and Equine County 4-H clubs. This is her third year taking design by me. This year, she completed an outfit using reverse tie-dye, gems, and created her own appliques. She first reverse tie-dyed a pair of blue jeans with embroidered flowers and dark red pair of jeans using several techniques, spray, mist, dip, to achieve a variety of patterns. She cut the red jeans into flower-shaped pieces, sewed layers together using a button in the center. She attached some flowers to a tank top to create a bouquet of flowers. Because of COVID-19, she also created a matching mask using extra flowers. To complete the outfit, she also reverse tie-dyed a red and blue plaid long sleeve shirt in case it is chilly. She is very proud of her outfit. She will wear it on the first day of school and will wear the plaid shirt and jeans at the horse shows. Samantha McDaniel. And designed by me in first place, we have Samantha McDaniel from Go McGill Get Us. I wanted something that I could wear to my horse shows. So I uh, reverse tie-dyed um, a plaid shirt and some jeans. And um, my quilt, um, my grandma gave me extra plaid fabric. So we paired those up with different colors and made the Monstar quilt. Up next, we have Vivian Elrod. My name is Vivian Elrod. I belong to the Mustang Country Connection 4-H Club. I have been a member for three years and I've been sewing for over three years. I chose to do a sewing project because I like sewing. My step-grandmother guided me with my project. My pattern is McCall's number M8042. I chose this pattern because I like the style of the shirt, the blue and white of the fabric and, and the blouse of Mies. I chose this fabric because it was silky, flowy, and made me feel like I was flying. To accessorize my blouse, I chose black jeans, leather boots, and crystal earrings for a total look. 
I intend to wear my blouse for formal events. The total cost of my project was $26.93. Vivian Elrod. Next we have Eliana Junkins. Eliana Junkins is 13 years old and has been in Clover Buds and 4-H for eight years. She is a member of the High Achievers 4-H Club. Eliana used Simplicity Pattern S9014 to make a short sleeve cow neck top out of a hunter green crushed paint. The top's approximate cost was $26. A special feature of her outfit is the way the sleeves come just to the shoulder. Her favorite feature is the way that the neck is loose and drapey instead of tight like a turtleneck. During this project, she learned how to sew a proper seam. She plans to wear her outfit to the park and to the mall. Eliana Junkins. Next, we have Ma Austin. Ma is 10 years old, and she is ready for all those cool fall days in her new terrific top. Made of 100 percent cotton flannel, the black bodice features a round neckline with top stitching and a button and loop closure. The four, three-fourths length sleeves and wide bottom ruffle are made of a coordinating red and black buffalo check plaid. Mars top is accented with a small self-made buffalo plaid bow with fringed edges. To complete her outfit, Ma has selected black leggings and black ankle boots. Mo Austin. Next we have Lily Zeller. Lily is 10 years old. She is a member of the Auglaze Ag 4-H Club. She has chosen a simplicity pattern for her first year project, a poncho. Lily chose a black and turquoise plaid lizard fleece made of 100% polyester. She used black fleece on the collar and pockets. Her favorite feature along with the fringe. Lily's cost was about $50. She plans to wear her poncho to school and football games. Lily enjoys sewing and plans to take another project next year. Lily Zeller. For terrific tops, outstanding project goes to Vilvian Elrod from Mustang Country Connections. Outstanding project goes to Ma Austin from Mustang Country Connections. Second place is Lillian Schneck from the Beaver Dam Bunch, and first place is Lily Zeller from Auglaes Act. Um, I'm wearing a plaid poncho. It has fringe on it, um, a turtleneck, and it is very flowy. My grandma helped me, and it was a little hard. Um, I learned how to use a serger. Um, I learned how to match up plaids. Next we have Abigail Beck and she is a sophomore in high school and is 14 years old. She is the vice president of the Luck of the Irish 4-H Club and she would have been a camp counselor during 4-H camp this summer. Abby is, Abby is modeling her own creation called Under the Sea, from the sea blue satin fabric to the glow in the dark overlay to the custom designed fish fin inspired fa face mask. Abby realizes that when things get a little too crazy up here on earth, either from a pandemic, pandemic or anything else, perhaps it is time to take a deep dive under the water. Abby back. For creative costumes, first place is Abigail Beck from Luck of the Irish. All the mesh, all the white um, tool you see is glow in the dark. So if I went in a dark room right now, it would all glow like bright green. And um, the bottom of my dress, all this, all this, um, would you, a fro, um, it was hand sewed on. So that took a long time, but it really made the dress very nice and well-rounded. Next we have Adeline Winter. Adeline Winter is 10 years old and ha has been in 4-H for two years. I am a member of Westside 4-H. I used a simplicity pattern to make this skirt. 
For this, I used a cotton blend that is soft and stretchy. My favorite feature of the skirt is that it is Disney themed. I plan to wear this anywhere, but especially on upcoming visits to Disney World. I have paired it with a gray t-shirt and red mouse ears. During the Sew Fun project, I learned how to use a pattern. My total cost of this skirt is about $25. Adeline Winter. Next, we have Cambria Whitehead from the Clover Patch Crew. She is nine years old, and this is her first year in 4-H. She used a simplicity pattern to make her skirt. She has both broad cloth fabric construct her skirt. This is good fabric for frequent use as it is an easy to care for fabric. The skirt includes a fully elastic waist and triple ribbon trim. She is wearing a floral top, black boots, headband, and earrings to complete her outfit. She can easily change the outfit with different tops and shoes. Cambria learned to use a sewing machine and different hand stitches with this project. Cambria, right hand. Next we have Elaine Woodruff. Elaine is a member of All Glaze Ag 4-H Club. She is 10 years old and this is her first year in 4-H. She chose a simplicity pattern for her watermelon print skirt, which features an elastic waist and gathered skirt. Her fa fabric is made of 100% cotton. Elena will wear her skirt to school and other events. She enjoyed learning to sew and plans to sew again next year. Elaine Woodruff. Next we have Lillian Miller. She is eight years old and a member of Herod Lively 4-H. She made a skirt from a simplicity pattern featuring an elastic waist and pleats. And the skirt is made out of red and black tartan plaid wool twill and, is bond and has a bonded backing. She loved to learn how to make pleats as, it has, as I have been sewing for several years and it was something new for me and was so easy. She also made a poncho out of Roomba Red solid boiled wool, and it features binding around the neck edge made from the same fabric as the skirt and has purchased fringe to finish the hemline. The cost of the skirt was $44. $44. Lillian Miller. Next is Abigail Lewis. Abigail is modeling a ruffled skirt made from Butterick pattern 4722. Abigail had never made a garment before and she really enjoyed making this skirt. She enjoyed making the ruffle using gathering stitches and running the elastic through the casing. Abigail chose to add a bow made from a bright pink ribbon as a finishing touch to her waistband. Her skirt is made from 100% cotton fabric that she enjoyed picking out at Heavenly Stitches in Lima. Abigail will be wearing her skirt to church and special events. Abigail Lewis. Next, we have Kira. She is the daughter of Haley Grimes and Jim Rask. She will be a freshman this year at Shawnee High School. This is her first year sewing, and she chose a red and black check, 100% cotton knit material for her lounging pants. Her pants feature an elastic, elastic waist. Kira thought the hardest part of her pattern was sewing with knit and stretching of material. She cannot wait to wear her new pants to the first slumber party this fall. She compliments her outfit with a black t-shirt and slippers. Kia. For a so fun, outstanding project goes to Lillian Miller from Herod Lively. Outstanding project goes to Elena Woodroff from Alglaze Ag. Outstanding project goes to Adeline Winter from Westside 4-H. Outstanding project goes to Abigail Lewis from Goma Go Getters. Second place is Kira Vask from the Clover Patch Crew. First place is Cambria Whitehead from the Clover Patch Crew. Well, I made a skirt with a ribbon trim with a full elastic waistband as well. Was it difficult to make? Well, the ribbon trim was the, probably the hardest part and maybe the hem too. I made a wool pleated skirt with an elastic waist plant band and pleats. I'll probably wear it to church and maybe that's all. 
Next is Cadence Richard of the Allen County Sharpshooters. Cadence Richard is 15 years old and a member of the Allen County Sharpshooters. She has designed and sewn this stylish outfit for her mother, Amanda Richard. Cadence created the pattern for the half circle skirt, which is made from a bottom weight cotton and features side pockets and an invisible zipper. She finished her seams with a Hong Kong seam and a blind hem. The top is from a simplicity pattern. The fabric was given to her and complements the skirt. It features a V-neck front and darts to create shape. Cadence learned the difficulties of sewing for someone else this year include working with their shape, style, and personal preferences, but also learned the reward of watching someone wear what you made. Cadence Richard. The first place for Sew for Others is Cadence Richard from Allen County Sharpshooters. I was pretty excited that she actually chose me. Um, we uh, had difficulties sometimes working together because like, I would want one fabric or one style of clothing or she would want the other. And so we kind of had to learn to work together. Um, as an advisor, it was really fun watching her grow because I've seen her um, start. I've seen her first zipper go in. I've seen this zipper go in. And just the improvements that she's made is pretty awesome. And next up, we have Amber Boop. She is 16 and part of the Beaver Dam Bunch 4-H Club. She made a skirt and shawl out of cotton and polyester. She used McCall's M7197 pattern from the skirt. They cost about $105. During this project, she learned how to sew in a zipper and create gathers. Her favorite things are the skirt fabric and the black lace and the red tool gathers poking out from the bottom of the skirt and the size of the shawl. She plans to wear her skirt and shawl to school. In first place for clothes for high school and college is Amber Boop from the Beaver Dam Bunch. 